Hi children, I am Vibina, your EVS teacher. I am very happy to meet you all. Let's start our lesson with a silent prayer. Now close your eyes. All of you close your eyes. Then breathe in. Breathe out slowly. Breathe in slowly. Breathe out. Very good. Today we are discussing the topic about living things and non-living things. This world where we live is wonderful and beautiful with many kinds of things such as trees, plants, birds, flowers, car, bus, building, etc. These objects are differentiated as natural objects and artificial objects. Natural objects are those objects which are exist on their own in this world, such as trees, plants, flowers, birds, other objects which are created by man are called artificial objects such as table, chair, furniture, lamp, building. All these are the examples of artificial objects. Now let us see what are living things and non-living things. Natural objects like cat, hand, dog, plants have life. They are known as living things. Whereas artificial objects like stone, buildings, table do not have life. They are non-living things. Now look at this picture. Look at this picture and find out which one is living things and which is non-living things. Find out from this box. Look at this picture, observe it carefully. Rabbit, yes, very good. Rabbit is a living thing. Rabbit. Yes, next one. Yes, pen, very good. Pen is non-living thing. Next, what is the next one? Yes, next one, birds. Birds, living things. It has life. Next. A book, very good. Book, book is non-living thing. Next, yes, very good. Bucket, bucket is non-living thing. Next, plant, very good. Plant, plant is included in the living things. Next, stone, stone is non-living things. Next one is butterfly. Very good. Butterfly is a living thing. All of you observe this table. Observe it carefully. Living things and non-living things. Rabbit, birds, plant, butterfly. Non-living things, pan, book, bucket, stone. Listen children, observe your surroundings and find out living things and non-living things in your surroundings and tabulate in your EVS notebook neatly. Do you know the difference between living things and non-living things? What are the peculiarities of the living and non-living things? Do you know the peculiarities of the living and non-living things? Now look at this chart. Peculiarities of the living. First one, grow. Living things are non-living things do not grow. Peculiarities of the non-living things do not grow. Next one, living things, new ones are formed. Living things are formed. Non-living things, new ones are not formed. Next point, can move. Living things are formed. Move is formed. Non-living things do not move. Move is Next, can respond. Living things can respond. But non-living things do not respond. Next, can take food. All living things need food for growth. 
but non living things do not take food next these points you can complete food is required for the growth of all living things don't we cook food in our house in the kitchen in that way plants prepare their food in their leaves the prepared food is used for their growth the remaining food is stored by the plants in its different parts see the picture of some plants we used for food identify each one's names in this picture we use fruit leaf flower of some plants for food do you know any name yes moringa we use moringa leaf fruit of moringa we use that flower also moringeda ilayum kayum poovum nammal endha aagunnunde bhakshan aakunnunde angane kore chedigalde food items nammal bhakshanathine vendi upayogikkunnunde ningalkku ariyamo edellam adunna namukku nokkam flower we use cauliflower as a food fruit papaya leaf amaranthus amaranthus ennu parayana nammala cheeriyana stem cheeriyade endu use cheyyan nammala stem food aayittu use cheyyunnundu amaranthus tuber kelangile pettadana tapioca nammala kelangile adana tapioca onion onion de flower nammal endu cheyyum food aayittu use cheyyunnundu moringeda flower endu cheyyunnundu food aayittu use cheyyunnundu fruit pumpkin leaf use moringa moringa leaves use as food stem sugar cane stem we use as food tuber carrot you can look this table carefully and watch carefully children prepare an album of pictures of plants that are used for food we know that nature is our wealth god provide everything to us keep it and save it for others now i wind up this class we will meet again